Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Capricorn. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Capricorn, I'm doing your reading with my giant stack of blended decks. You'll see a mix of several decks in your spread today. So we've got the count your chickens on the split and the page of earth at the bottom of the deck. Okay, that's fascinating. It's talking to me about, there seems to be a really interesting and kind of challenging relationship here on the table that is actually, I wanna say serving to really draw out your best possible version, right? But here with these cards, it's looking like this relationship, the, this dynamic that's playing out right now and then look at the six of earth and the six of earth and the world underneath that. Okay, I just wanted to show that because it's really beautiful. It's talking about every. It's like that you're ready to launch. That you have everything that you need to really, to, to kind of take on the world in a sense, right? But in the moment you're in this situation with this challenging individual that is making it's kind of like bringing you back to a relationship uh, in your very early life that is like. Um, like a really domineering mother type of a situation, right? So if this if this current situation is kind of pushing your buttons in a way that doesn't necessarily make sense, or is like uh, you're more you're more sensitive than usual to somebody's um, challenging energies or whatever, if you're more sensitive than usual in a dynamic, it could be because it's kind of echoing or playing out something from your childhood that you haven't really kind of looked at for a long time. It's like, it's reminiscent of that. I say that because the page of earth talks to me about remembrance too, right? So it's like, it's, it's making you remember like a, a difficult teacher, a difficult parent, for example, that really put you through it, right? I mean, it's not exactly what's going on here, but I want to say there's echoes of it. Okay, overall energy from the Lifruma Healing Oracle for Capricorn. Lagoon, Cosmic Ocean. Okay, this is interesting. This idea of this cosmic ocean, these kind of stepping stones that are leading the way through this, this cosmic ocean energy. What I'm getting is that it's almost as if you haven't quite like stepped in it fully. It's like you've been tiptoeing or you've been um, reluctant or you've been playing it safe therefore having these kind of stepping stones rather than just kind of like throwing yourself into it and maybe this is tying back into the Sagittarius reading from yesterday which was talking about them kind of not putting their whole heart or showing up fully to something it's kind of got a bit of that energy to it as well that maybe this situation that you're in now is going to be this 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 relationship that's going to push you in without any kind of safety harness in a sense, which is an, which is ideal ultimately, right? It might not be something that you would necessarily choose individually, like on your own, but if you're pushed in just the right way, you're going to dive in is what it looks like. Okay. So you're starting here with the Midas touch. I want to say this is you. You're showing up really powerfully. You're showing up with um, just like everything you're very powerful. You're like a force to be reckoned with on your own. But at the same time, what it is that you're dealing with an individual, or maybe it's like a boss, or it's, it's almost coming through as somebody who is a guide, a teacher, a coach for you. They're coming in as this one here, right? So as big and powerful as you are, this one seems to be bigger and more powerful. At least that's how you're feeling at the moment. 
could just be because you are new on the scene. It's like if you're uh, a, a newly arriving in a situation, this one has been there and established for quite some time. Maybe you're actually going to them particularly to be challenged, right? Because it's making me think of the master maker energy in those old readings by one of my favorite readers ever. She used to talk about the master maker and the master maker was one who turns somebody into a master by pushing and pushing and pushing, right? So it's like they're showing up kind of bigger and more powerful than you in a sense. Like I said, maybe because you're actually going to them, you're ready, right? It's like, you're so ready for this, but the love card is in between. I don't but wasn't the right word there. The love or the lover's card is in between you, basically saying that this relationship, this dynamic is challenging or maybe even as scary as it is for you because, you know, you feel really well equipped and, and well kind of resourced when you face them, you're feeling almost like out of your league. Like you're not quite sure you can, you can do it, but the energy between you is love. It's like, basically they're here to, with a loving energy, they're here like embracing you to encourage you. They're not trying to show you up. They're not trying to win. They're not trying to uh, diminish you in any way. They're trying to pull the best out of you, right? Because the king of water is coming up next too as well. They're trying to encourage and coax you forward. Everything, like they are surrounded by all this loving energy. They're coming in as the lovers and the king of cups. All this love and all this love around them. That's their kind of biggest message or their biggest, the biggest energy that they emit is love. Even, and I almost want to say that if you're feeling particularly challenged or buttons pushed, it's all kind of, because of stuff that's going on within you that maybe is playing back to this situation, right? Like I said, you could have actually sought this situation out, you know, going to a guide, going somewhere that you know is going to be particularly challenging in order to up your game, right? So it's almost like cross training or something like that that's really going to push you and you know that showing up there but once you get there it's like it's it's triggering all of this right but i want to say there's actually part of it is because you see a lot of yourself in them it's a good match it's like if this is a, a coach or a teacher or a trainer of some sort it's a it's an ideal match i want to say but it's like with the knowing heart coming out next that I want to say they are pushing you almost beyond your limit or it's feeling that way to you because it's like you're giving it your all. You see that push, that momentum, that kind of like thrust of energy coming forth from this one uh, is you kind of putting in all of your effort and intuition. It's interesting because this the fine print on this card says heed your intuition. <laughs> Which I want to say is you kind of having like second guess, like beginning to doubt the situation. Heed your intuition is kind of you saying, did I make the right choice here? Maybe I'm in over my head. It's the five of earth coming out next because you are ending up kind of depleted on the other side of this big push, right? But it's like if you're, say, going to... Um, to a trainer that is really, really, really pushing you, then of course on the other side of it, you're going to be maxed out. I mean, that's the point, right? It's like they're really going to give you like a, a challenging, like almost over challenging. They want you to be able to reach beyond. They're trying to coax you. Pat, they want you to realize your fullest potential and your fullest potential is something that you have never experienced before, at least not in this realm, not in this way. So it's going to be very taxing, right? So it's like, it's basically like giving it your all in an incredible workout. And then the next day, it's like this workout hangover. You're completely depleted. And that's exactly what's meant to be happening. It's, it's appropriate and good and right. But with the six of air and the, with the six of air and the hangman, actually, 
Six of Air standing alone. It's basically you saying like, I can't, I can't, I can't possibly go back. I, I don't have within me the energy to show up on another day. It's all that second guessing, all that self doubt energy. But the hanged man is actually saying that you're in this for the long haul. It's the manifest your miracles coming out next. It's almost as if you, it's, it's almost as if you try to run or you try to quit and this one is just pulling you right back, right? It's coming out beneath this. This is their energy. Manifest your miracle. That's, it's almost like they're showing up at your door, uh, you know, at your bedside in a sense and insisting that you get up even though you don't have the energy for it. They're not letting you go. That's the hangman energy. They're not letting you go. In fact, the hangman is on the, is, is surrounding them. It's funny because in this row of cards, there the energy surrounding them is this hangman, which I want to say is this attachment to you, this connection to you that they're not letting you go, or this situation isn't letting you go. You can't get out as as easily as that. But up here, right above it, <clears throat> they're showing up surrounded by love, right? So, and I feel like ultimately they're always loving. There, I never see them actually showing up like this, like in rage or anger or frustration or, or dominance even. They're not dominating. They're not domineering in any way. That's not them. So that's just kind of a memory or an echo of energy that is kind of uh, resurfacing for you because there is similarities like that, that one in your past pushed you in a similar way, but it, it had a a more domineering aspect to it that is not present here, right? So it's like, um, try to keep that in mind that even if they are unrelenting, they're not allowing you off the hook here. It's almost as if, like I said, they come to your bedside and drag you back to the, back to the task because they have such knowing, they have such knowing or such clear vision about the potentials here right? That they're pushing you to manifest your miracle because they know or they've already accomplished it. They are in the position that you want to be in and they know that it's possible because there is a lot of resemblance between you. It's like whatever it is that they did to accomplish their miracle, you have exactly that within you. There's a lot of overlap here and they can see that. And I want to say that you can see that as well. This is like an ideal that you are heading towards. But when you find when you actually kind of dive into the, de the depths of it, it's like you feel like you're in over your head and you start second guessing it. But it's like, it's not letting you off the hook and or actually, even if you quit, even if you don't go, if you walk away, if you start making other plans, I feel like part of this energy here is actually you and your own self bringing you back. It's like, you can't let it go. You're hooked on this situation. And I want to say the reason for that is because of this hopeful heart coming out next. Well, I mean, look at these three cards here. Hopeful heart, the eight of earth, and the recovering heart. Look at the look at the richness, the saturated, gorgeous energy in these three cards is what it is that you're doing. This is what you're doing here. It's interesting because it's almost as if that's the two of you again, kind of sharing uh it's like that you're very similar but it's like you're just a few steps behind on the path of this one like they're this ideal that you're heading towards they're this ideal that you're heading towards this card talks to me about like um something that is like insanely romantic idealized perfection like a super romanticized version of things but completely at the same time fully possible but it's almost as if your your heart has to be like ripped open in order to accomplish it. It doesn't have to be quite that extreme, but you see what I mean? It's like you have to really go through it to get it's it's something that you really, really have to put all of yourself in. And you do that and it's taxing. And be the part of the reason why it's taxing is because you're not used to that, perhaps. You're not used to showing up in this way. But I feel like it becomes almost like a muscle memory after a while where you're showing up in full force regularly. And that's what develops this richness, this depth, this saturation. There's the eight of pentacles in the middle of it. It's talking about, interestingly, it's talking about that this 
situation is sacred that this situation even though there's an aspect of you that wants to run away from it that you can't it's like that you are ultimately connected that you are entangled with this situation because it is completely a match to your to your deepest desires to your core right to your truest heart that there's something about maybe even bringing up this page of page of earth here this hopeful heart it's almost like it's bringing forth aspects of yourself that haven't been touched upon for a long time therefore it's exactly the reason why this is starting to resurface this is like some kind of shadowy aspect in your past and feeling into whether it's you it's like is it a shadow aspect of you i feel like it isn't it's definitely somebody that you were up against in the past but of course characters in our life kind of help us to see ourselves more clearly so maybe in a way it is an aspect of you kind of showing up for yourself it doesn't matter it's not it's not significant to this present moment but what it is talking about is the fact that this situation is it is you it's so you that's what this card talks to me about and actually this card is starting to have that same message for me is the fact that it's like returning to an aspect of yourself that hasn't been visited in so long right like coming to this place into this deep deep woods where it, there's such richness there there's so much it's so fulfilling it's so rewarding it's so enriching it's so saturated with significance and meaning because it is you it is where you belong it's interesting these two cards together and this one it's almost bringing up this love song aspect again that was in yesterday's Sagittarius reading about a love song. It's like this love song has been peeking up. There's maybe for for some people there's this there's a significant love song that is kind of wanting to make it make it a, like an appearance in the readings for some people. It's kind of coming up here again for you, but. Basically what I'm saying is this is the reason why this situation won't let you go. It's the reason why it's so compelling is that this one is acting as a kind of a beacon or a, a guiding light towards, it's almost like maybe your remembrance of this sacred way of being, of this space that I wanna say is very kind of maybe tumultuous, tumultuous and incredibly challenging at first because it's like building up that muscle memory or reawakening a muscle memory the muscle kind of being the heart in a sense right reawakening the heart but i feel like like i was saying about how when you show up like that every day it becomes it gets easier every time you do it because you're kind of building up that what's that called uh, it's almost like is it the phrase called like work hardening when you begin when you first begin a new challenging task it's like you got you're so tired your whole body aches that's what you're going through here it's like your whole being aches at this new challenge being brought to you by this one but as you the reason what i'm trying to say is the reason why you can't abandon it or quit or not show up is because it is it is you right it's so compelling it's because it's so satisfying even though it's it seems to be depleting you to your core in a sense it's it's in a good way it's like when you when you get over this initial hump of it being too much or being too hard or i've bit off more than i can chew or i i i dove into the what does it say the cosmic ocean um too fully i overcommitted I've overcommitted here. Once you get over that hump and realize that it's not going to let you go and you kind of surrender fully to it, it's like you're going to realize that it's so incredibly satisfying. It's satisfying beyond anything that you have experienced maybe ever in this lifetime is what it feels like to me because it's like this is exactly where you belong and this it's like this is going to turn out to be like it is a romantic, it is a romantic notion, meaning it's romanticized. You have this ideal in your mind about 
what it is that you're getting into here, right? It's like this one is almost like up on a pedestal in a sense. They're wanting to kind of bring it down. Like they're not wanting to be on that pedestal. They're kind of trying to relate to you at your level, but they are that much more advanced than you. That's the whole reason that you're showing up there, right? And like I said, I feel like the biggest challenge here isn't necessarily with them or the process. It has to do with whatever this was. It's like this echoing, unpleasant energy of a past relationship or a past dynamic that is resurfacing for you. That's interesting. So there's all this like ready to launch. You got everything that you need to really take this to the next level. But then there's this Ten of Swords and this King of Water, or sorry, the Knight of Water underneath that. There's something like when you when you let go or when you um when it gets to the point where it's easier, it's like that's where that love song comes in. It's almost like maybe what we're talking about is that you're absolutely gonna fall in love with this situation and you're gonna realize that there's nowhere that you're meant to be or nothing that you're meant to be doing more than this because this is kind of like the ultimate, the ultimate romantic ideal position or place or situation for you to be. It's, it's like I can't even articulate how incredibly satisfying in the depth of, of richness and fulfillment that you're going to find here. That's what I'm seeing here with these cards, right? So it's basically like, don't give up. Don't be discouraged. I feel like you can't give up even if you want to. You're going to realize that very quickly. But if you're still at this really challenging phase, it's like you're going to get past that and it's going to get like delicious, basically. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to continue to pull cards and create an extended. If you're interested in that, link is in the description. And if not, I will see you next time, Capricorn. Thanks, bye.